Independent People's Party, IPP, has threatened to place a court injunction on this year's elections if the Electoral Commission doesn't, does not reinstate its presidential aspirant, Kofi Akwalu, in the presidential race. At a news conference in Accra, the IPP presidential aspirant said the commission disqualified him on the basis of falsehood. Kofi Akpalu was disqualified on the basis of possible forgery of signatures. Three subscribers, according to the Electoral Commission, signed the IPP presidential candidate's nomination form and that of another aspirant. This, according to the Commission, is in breach of Regulation 74 of CI 94. Again, the cross subscribers, Alfred Yevuglu, Dagadu Raymond, and Edu Thomas have different signatures on Kofi Akpalu's nomination form. But the Independent People's Party IPP presidential aspirant disagrees. They are saying that three subscribers have also gone to subscribe another candidate. So as a party, because we have our database, we had to quickly uh, call our people and find out from them whether they have signed for another candidate apart from us, and true and behold, they are saying no. IPP General Secretary Kwame Owusu Echampim says the party will place court injunction on this year's elections if the Electoral Commission fails to reinstate him. We are calling on the EC to revoke its decision of disqualifying the IPP from the presidential election with immediate effect. We, the IPP, have done our part, providing enough evidence beyond reasonable doubt, and the EC, whom I believe are law-abiding, fair and transparent, will take the necessary steps to ensure the reversal of the earlier decision against our presidential candidate.